Good morning, Grade Eight. From Topic Three, we'll be doing today Set Three Point Two. Now, in earlier set, we have seen that if indices are in rational form, there are two forms. For example, if number is five, we have seen two forms. One was one upon n. Okay, and another I have told you. For example, five raised to m upon n. So here both numerator as well as denominator numbers are there, and here only denominator has numbers. We have seen how to write in this form. For example, if it is five raised to one upon three, we know that denominator is always a root, and so this was third root of five. All right. Now, if there is numerator as well as denominator, numerator will be power index, and new and denominator will be root. Okay, so let us take an example with numbers. It will be easy for you to understand. If I write, write for example, ten raised to three upon five, then three is power, or it is also index, and five is this is in numerator, and five is in denominator, so it will be root. If you understand this, this whole exercise is very easy. Now just keep in mind, numerator is power and denominator is root. If this fraction is acting as an index, all right? Okay, this is in rational form. One upon m upon n we have seen. Now index here everywhere it is in rational form. See the index of two twenty five or power the whole as it is. It is three upon two. So three will be power and two will be root. It can be written in two ways. First, we can write power, and then we can write root. Or first, we can write root, and then we can write power. It is up to you. Both ways we can write. Now, see for example, if I take power first, it will be third power. But third power is called as cube. So this I can say third power of second root of two two five. But third power is called as cube. And second root, second means it is called as square. So what I have written? Cube of square root of two hundred and twenty-five. Cube of cube word indicates third power. Both words it is including. Square root. Square means second. Now taking root first. What I will say? Second root of third power. But third power is called as cube. So cube of two twenty-five. So one number. Which is given in the index is given in the rational form of m upon n. You can write by two ways. First, taking power first and then root, or you can take first root and then power. Only just you have to write the numbers. Now, what is the power? It is four. So what I will write? Fourth power of which is the root? Fifth root. So fifth root of forty-five. Now I want to take root first. What is the root five? So it will be fifth root of what is the power four? So it is fourth power of forty-five. That easy it is. Here also you just have to know what is power and what is root. So numerator is power, so it will be sixth power. So sixth power of what is root? Seventh root. Here I am writing power first, then the root. Now I want to write root first. So what it will be? What is root seven? So it will be seventh root of sixth power of eighty one. Now come back to this hundred raised to four upon ten. Here power is four, so it will be fourth power of tenth root. Numerator will be power, denominator will be root. Now taking root first, it is tenth root of fourth power. Of hundred, easy no? Now twenty one raised to three upon seven, so it will be third power of seventh root of twenty one. But third power is called as one word for this. Third power is called as cube. If it is second power, we would have written square. Only for two and three, you should remember there are specific words. Okay, so third power I can write only. Cube, so I can write here cube of, or you can keep third power of doesn't matter. Cube of seventh root of twenty one, and this is what is the root seventh. So I can write seventh root of third power of twenty one. 
बट थर्ड पावर इज कॉल्ड एज इन मैथमेटिकल लैंग्वेज थर्ड पावर इज कॉल्ड एज क्यूब सो इट इज बेटर टू यूज मैथमेटिकल लैंग्वेज आई एम राइटिंग हियर क्यूब ओके सो दैट्स अबाउट थ्री पॉइंट टू फर्स्ट exercise it was first complete the table in tabular form it is given i have written in this way you can write in the form of tables let's go to the second question now now second question is write in the form of rational indices now in words they have given you have to write in the form of indices square root of fifth power of 121 so base is 121 first write 121 this is the base Now what is the power? Fifth power. So five will be up because it is power is always in the numerator. And what is root? Root is square means two. So second root or square root of fifth power of one twenty one. Now look at the base first. Cube of fourth root of three twenty four. So write first three twenty four. Now let us decide upon the index. Something upon something. That is the index. Now cube of cube of means what? Three is the power. And fourth root root will be denominator, so it is three upon four. So three twenty four raised to three upon four. Please write the indices little above. It should not be in the same line. Fifth root now root is given. Okay, here first power was given. So you please look very carefully what is given. Two sixty four is the base. First write two six two sixty four. Now here fifth root first root is given. So upon five. Fifth root of square of two sixty four. Square means two. Okay, two sixty four raised to two upon five. Cube of here again power is given first because root is given afterwards. Here also cube. Here also cube and here is also three. So it is three raised to. It is three raised to three upon three. Power is also cube and the root is also cube and base is also three. Okay, so it's so easy, students. write down in your notebook that's all for today from my side thank you